What is going on guys? Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to build a simple Instagram bot in Python. So let us get right into it. All right, so we're going to build a simple Instagram bot in Python, which is going to allow us to automate certain processes on the platform. And you can have many use cases for that. So you can automate posting behavior, you can automatically like, follow and comment based on hashtags, based on interests, based on locations on users and so on. It's totally up to you. In today's video, I want to show you the framework, the library that we're going to use uh, in order to do all that. So I'm going to use one particular example of liking, following and commenting based on hashtags, uh, based on the recent media that is posted uh, on a hashtag. And you can take the library and use it for all sorts of different use cases. So there's an extensive documentation that I'm going to show you here as well. Uh, in today's video, we're going to use the example of liking, following and commenting based on hashtags. So the first thing we want to do is we want to install the library that we need today. And this library is called Instagram API. So like Instagram, but without the M and the A goes into API. So we have to use pip. So either pip or pip three and then install Instagram and then PI. So Instagram and then PY for Instagram API. Um, and in my case, this is already satisfied. So once we have that, we're going to open up a new Python script, I'm going to call this main py. And I also have a credentials file already so that I don't have to type the password in front of you guys. And I don't have to in any way uh, disclose any information here, you can also do this clear text in the script, which I do not recommend, or you can load it from um, environment variables, or you can just input it every time. So what you can do is you can say username equals and then input and then some message that you want to have. Uh, like username. And then every time you start the script, you have to enter it again, but uh, it's safer because you don't store the password anyway, uh, anywhere. So what we're going to do first is we're going to say from Insta gray PI, we're going to import the client, which is what we need to interact with Instagram. And then we're going to say here the client is going to be uh, a new client. And we're going to say the client is going to be logging into an account. And for that, we need a username and a password. As I said, in my case, this is going to be um, read from the credentials file. So credentials.txt. This is a file I have on my computer. I'm going to read that file. I'm going to open it here as F and then I'm going to say, okay, uh, username and password is going to be just whatever I read from this file dot split lines because I have essentially, as I said, uh, the file looks like this. I have a user and then in the next uh, line, I have a password and those are going to be read into the script and they're going to be passed to the login function. So again, as I said, if you uh, load these uh, values dynamically from user input, you can do the same thing. You just say username equals input password equals input and then you have the same uh, remaining code. So then what we can do now is we can uh, say that we want to load um, posts by hashtag. So we can say, okay, let's define a hashtag, the hashtag is going to be programming, or you can call it Python programming. Or if you are in a different niche, you can do fitness, workout, travel, whatever. Um, and then what we do is we get some media based on that hashtag. So we can say here medias equals client dot hashtag underscore medias underscore. And I think here you now can choose between recent and top top being the top posts of that hashtag and recent being just the latest posts. So usually uh, from accounts that don't have too many likes and so on. So we're going to go with recent and we're going to pass the hashtag here and then we can also pass an amount. So how many posts do we want to get from that category? And I can say, for example, I want to have 20 posts from uh, from this hashtag and then I'm going to get here a collection of 20 posts that I can iterate over. Now, let me briefly show you here um, the documentation. So you can go to github.com um, AD W zero RD and then Instagram PI or you can just Google Instagram PI GitHub. And down here you have an extensive documentation. So you can go to media, for example, and you can see exactly what a media is, what you can do with it. So you can uh, get it by ID, you can get uh, the primary key of the media from the URL, you can um, get certain certain users that like this uh, particular piece of media. So you can also iterate over over the images and then look at all the people that like this image. And then you can I don't know, engage with those people if you want to, if you have a certain algorithm in mind of what you want to do, you can go to hashtag, you can go to users, you can go to all sorts of things, you can also do direct messaging, whatever. 
um, and you can see how to use these individual functions. And here actually we see the function that we're using, hashtag medias recent, and all we have to do is we have to say the hashtag, so this is a string, and then how many posts we want to get from there. So once we have that, what we can do is we can say for i uh, media in enumerate media. So we iterate over the collection of posts that we now got from this hashtag medias recent command uh, or function call. And then we're going to say now that we want to get, uh, we want to like that particular image. So we can say client dot media underscore like, and we have to pass here the media. Um, not exactly because we need to pass the ID of the media. So we have to get the media and the media is an object that has multiple attributes, also the user, the username, whatever, um, also the location and the timestamp and something like that. But the ID is what you need to pass here. You cannot just pass the media object, you have to pass the ID of the media object. And then it's going to be liked and we can go ahead and print a simple string like liked post number. And then we can say here, I plus one so that we start counting from one uh, off hashtag and then hashtag. There you go. Um, and we can actually go ahead and run this now because we can we can build on top of that later on. I'm going to say now Python three main dot py. And in my case, uh, I get the error message that I have too many requests because I have been playing around with this script for the past hours. Um, on my on my uh, personal profile. So not neural nine, but Florian Dedov, which is my personal, uh, personal brand profile, if you want to call it that. Uh, and now I can see I'm liking these posts, actually. So this works if you get an exception, it doesn't work. If you don't get an exception, you just see your messages, this means it worked. Um, and what you can also do now is you can do stuff like, okay, every fifth post that I find, I want to also follow the guy that posted this or the person that posted this. So I can say, okay, if I, um, modulo five is equal to zero. What I can do is I can say client dot and then user follow so I can follow a particular user, which user do I want to follow I want to get the user that posted this piece of media. So I can say media dot user dot username. Uh, and this is how it usually works because um, or actually sorry, not username PK for primary key. I think this stands for primary key. Um, because what we do is we get the media, we get the user and this user has also an identifier and this identifier needs to be passed to user follow in order to be able to follow the user and then we can use the username to display uh, which user we have followed. So followed user and then um, we can say media user username like this. And I think this should already happen in the first iteration. Now, before I run this too often, I'm, I will also add the commenting behavior. So what I can do here is I can say, uh, also every fifth post, I want to comment something. So I can say media underscore comment, and then I can pass the media ID here and I can say, okay, I want to comment some strings. So awesome post, for example, which sounds very generic, uh, probably not very convincing. But still, you can do that. You can say print uh, comment it, and then uh, you can actually do the following thing. We can have here comments, which is a list that we have. So, for example, awesome is one, great is one, um, or nice could be one. Whatever you can make up your own comments. You can also add some emojis, whatever. And then we can go ahead and say uh, import random and let's keep the conventions and import it above. And then we can say here that the comment we choose is going to be a random choice of comments. And then we can say comment. And we commented this comment under the post off and then the username or under post number I plus one. So that is a simple script now that automates commenting, following and liking behavior. Now, of course, you need to be very careful with this because just using uh, a script like this is not problematic. The problem is when you get spammy. So if you start commenting 
uh, under every post every two minutes or something, Instagram is going to block you. If you follow and unfollow too many people, Instagram is going to block you. If you like too many posts, Instagram is going to block you. If you, if you log in too many times, Instagram is going to block you or at least to ban you for, I don't know, a week or something. So Instagram has certain limits. Instagram has certain guidelines. Don't violate them. Just using a script is not problematic. What is problematic is when you start uh, being spammy and overdoing it, right? So in this case, I'm just going to run this here for a couple of seconds. Um, and again, you can see here the status, it's, it's uh, normal if you log in too many times. Oftentimes, you'll also get some code via email and you will have to, to put it in and say, okay, everything's fine, it's still me. Um, yeah. So in this case, we're just going to wait a little bit and now you can see a liked post number one, followed user, whatever. I'm going to unfollow this user again here in a second. Uh, but yeah, you can see commented great under post number one, whatever. And this keeps going now. And of course, you can do that with a collection of hashtags, whatever. And you can play around with all these other different things that you can do here. So I haven't explored the whole uh, library myself, but you can see that you have insights, you have a following, editing stuff. You can edit the bio of your account. You can, um, you can, what, what was it? This is um, liking, following. We had comments. Um, we had location stuff, we have ha hashtag stuff, we have direct messaging. You can play around with a lot of different things. You can think of a strategy to attract followers if that's the style that you're operating in, if you jo don't just want to, uh, to post content all the time. Because oftentimes when you're starting out on Instagram, I know this from experience because I built Neural9 uh, natively without having any followers before that. And the problem is that oftentimes uh, you produce posts every day, but no one finds those posts. And you have to start liking and commenting and following other people, as stupid as this sounds, in order to get some attention. So just producing good posts is not enough to be seen. Uh, and a script like this can help you with that so you don't have to do it manually. Um, yeah, so you can do a lot of stuff here based on users, based on hashtags, based on um, on the media itself. You can unlike, you can like, you can follow, you can unfollow, you can direct message, whatever. This is a very extensive library and it, it is the only one at the moment right now. This constantly changes. It's the only one that currently works because all the other InstaPy and, and the other libraries are currently not working, at least on my system. Uh, there's some open issues that are not uh, being taken care of. Uh, I think this is a recent change in Instagram maybe, but this library works. So Instagram API uh, seems to do a very good job at automating Instagram strategies and Instagram processes. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.